Hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 review, and this is question 1E. Okay, I'm going to solve this equation, I'm being asked to solve this equation, but I'm being asked to solve it in this domain. Okay, so a, a, a negative half rotation and a positive half rotation. So I've got to find my answers in that given domain here. And here we go. Okay, this problem has got a big problem. Okay, I've got a cosine function and a sine function in it. Unless I can factor those two apart, I can't do a whole lot with that. So something's got to go. Now, I don't know much what to do with sine all by its lonesome here, but cosine squared I can do something with. Okay, you think back to your Pythagorean identities, then cosine squared is in the very first one that you looked at. Okay, so there's that 2 out front there. I'm just going to pull, leave the 2 there. But cosine squared would be the same as 1 minus the sine squared of theta minus 3 sine theta is equal to 0. Now, that improves things because now everything is in terms of sine. Now I'm going to have to play with the algebra a little bit. Okay, because uh, I've got a quadratic here. I need to simplify that down into, a, into two linears or at least a linear that I can solve. So I'm going to have to expand that. I'll make that 2 minus 2 sine squared of theta minus the 3 sine theta is equal to 0. Okay, well, I'm going to end up moving that 2 to the back. But you know what? I'm also going to divide by a negative. I, I just don't like having the, the squared term, the leading coefficient here, negative. So I'm going to divide by a negative and bring that 2 back. So this will become positive 2 sine squared of theta plus 3 sine of theta minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, now I'm going to factor this because I've got to deal with the algebra portion of this. Um, but on, on the plus side, because my leading coefficient here is 2 and my, my trailing coefficient or the constant here is 2, I don't actually have that many choices as to how this could possibly work out. This has to be 2 sine theta and sine theta. i got no choice. That, it's got to look like this. Now, back here, this has got to be either 1 and 2 or 2 and 1. Okay, all I gotta do now is look at the middle, the middle value here to see what's going on here. I've got a positive three here. Now I'm gonna get that by, by simply getting a four minus a one here. So I want positive two over there so that when I multiply those two together, I'm gonna get positive four. Whoops, sorry. Whoa, oh, pencil malfunction. Minus one, and when you multiply those together, you'll get negative one sine, and so four, Minus 1 is getting me that positive 3. And I'm just guessing and checking at that. I'm not doing anything fancier than that. Okay, I've got two separate uh, sine functions here. In this case here, sine of theta could be equal to 1 half. Or the sine of theta here could equal negative 2. Now I hope, I hope that immediately this sets off warning bells. Okay, sine... Think back in your experience with trig. Sine, it has a maximum value of 1, a minimum value of negative 1. It's not possible for sine to be negative 2. So there's going to be no solution coming from this particular factor here. They're all going to be coming from here. Okay. So now let's go back and let's consider our interval. Okay. We are looking, for a, uh, looking at a positive half rotation and a negative half rotation. Okay, the trig ratio that I've got here is positive. So I just got to think, where is sine positive? Okay, well, sine is positive in quadrant one. It's positive in quadrant two. And now I got to think, sine is going to a half. So now think about your, your uh, <laughs> unit circle. I can't believe I lost that word. Unit circle or your special triangles. What angle do we associate the sine ratio with? Uh, when it equals one half? And the answer is, after a little bit of thought here, that's 30 degrees. So now, this positive first rotation, positive uh, along this positive half rotation, to get to that terminal arm, that is going to be an angle of 30 degrees. Okay, and then again, my second terminal arm is up here in the second quadrant. This is still along that positive rotation here. My reference angle is right here, so this would be 180, but we're less 30. So it's gonna be comma, 150. So those are my two solutions. And I'm only getting those two solutions because that other factor didn't produce one. 
That, by the way, is a, a great question. That'd be a great question for the diploma as well, because it it tests your understanding uh, not only of the identities, okay, the substitution, but how to solve, but also you have to know something about sign to recognize that there is an issue there and that that's okay. It is okay that that does not have any solutions. That's a good question.